in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. There are people who have died for nothing. There are people who have died the deaths of fools. It is important to know what is worth committing your energy, your time, and your money. Listen, at the end of your life, there are only few things that will make your life count. Believe me when I tell you this. In the maze of several activities clamoring for your attention, you know, the average young man is, is like a magnet attracting different things that need your attention in life. And I have found out in my little experience and by the privilege of wisdom and mentorship and the word that in the end of your life, there are not more than four, five things that are worth living for. So in, in our busyness, our attempt to make money, marry, have children, serve God, grow ministries, expand, all of these things are important. But a time must come in your life where you have to just shut the door and say, what is really important? Because many of us, as I'll be showing you, if you don't know what is important, you will major on the minors and you will minor on the majors. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Right, so very quickly, the first and most important priority in any man's life, regardless of call, regardless of assignment, regardless of whatever it is your experience, is the first real priority worth dying for, worth living for, is your relationship with God. Please write it down. Your relationship with God is not the first most important thing. It is the highest. Your relationship with God. What is the purpose of God in your life? Please look up. You will be surprised how many believers cannot answer this question. What is the purpose of God in a man's life? Many will tell you to make us rich. Many will tell you to make us succeed. You're not wrong, but you're not entirely right. What exactly is the purpose of God? Why should Bill Gates need God? Why should the leader of a terrorist group need God? Why should a first class student need God? Why should a dying man need God? Why is it that when you stand uh, at the bed of someone about to die, you will not tell him, remember your real estate, have you written your will? You just say, please, have you made your ways right with God? And if he gives his life to Christ, you can stand there and smile while he transits. Your relationship with God what is the purpose of God in your life I want to tell you because many believers do not know the purpose and the relevance of God we only know some of the things that he can do but why do I need God and if we do not clear up this understanding it will affect us in the future because Africa look up please Africa as a continent because we're saddled with our pressure of poverty and the need for relevance and several things it necessitates our our religious affiliations so you find out that when people go out of this region and life is comfortable they have um, policies that support their well-being usually they will not need God again so what is the purpose of God in my life is it to make me a man of God is it to make me get a job See, purpose is what gives value to everything.
everything in life. No matter what you have and no matter what you do, if it is not supported by purpose, purpose answers the question, why? Why God? Is God blessing someone already? I want to give you three reasons why you need God in your life. Remember, we're examining the most important things, the priorities in a man's life. Number one, God is important in your life because it is your relationship with God through Jesus Christ that secures your eternal destiny. God is relevant in a man's life because without a relationship with God, there is no guarantee for your eternal destiny. John chapter 3 from verse 15, you read to 17. John chapter 3, it says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Then 16 says for God, not for angel Michael, not for angel Gabriel, not for the third living creature for God himself so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting why do I need God in my life because the only security to my eternal destiny is my relationship with God please listen to me there is no educational qualification that crosses the boundary of the earth realm. There is no savvy, business savvy, that sustains the ability to cross the earth realm. It is important for us to understand that our relationship with God is not just a tool for success alone. Primarily, the Bible says if our hope is only in this world, we are of all men most miserable. Listen to me. No matter what you lose in life, if your relationship with God is still intact, you are still a winner. Hear what I'm saying? And no matter what you gain in life, if you lose God in the process, you really lost. The Bible gives us the parable of the rich man, are we Bible students? And Lazarus. That man had a lot of money. That man had so many things and then he died. Lazarus died, sin too. They now get to a realm where money does not count. They now get to a realm where education does not count. They now get to a realm where political affiliation is not an advantage. And the Lazarus is sitting at Abraham's bosom and the man is at the other side and he's standing wondering and crying for a drop of water that means the purpose was not really to quench the kind of test you think are we are we together now please listen to me let me tell you this your relationship with god is not loyalty to your parents religion your relationship with god is not an affiliation that um, was brought about by your sympathy to Christianity that you compared many religions and you felt like an award this is the best so I go for it the proposition that we give people sometimes as ministers as to why they should come to God may be very sincere but it is dangerous if the only reason why I introduce you to God is because of tea and bread then you are in trouble the relevance of God spans this realm. It is very important. This is God for you. When it's all been said and done There is just one thing that matters Did I do my best to live for truth? I live my life for you when it's all been said and done all my treasures will mean nothing only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test of time Lord 
your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness and find precious joys in married clay turning sinners into saints and I will always sing your praise here on earth and ever after listen for you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done you're my life when life Whether you like what I'm saying or not, a day will come when your wisdom will be tested. It will not be tested by an exam. It will be tested by a transition. The wise ones are the ones who will still stand whether or not they are in this realm. Listen, this is the reason why we continue to introduce people to Jesus. It's not that we are guilty of, of not being evangelists. No. your relationship with God. So the first purpose of God in your life is the security of your eternal destiny. Number two, the second reason or the second purpose of God in your life, I hope you understand how I'm, I'm arranging it, is your exploits in life. It is true that you can succeed in life without God, but I guarantee you there will be a vacuum in your success that will make it clear that it's not God that brought you there. I've had the privilege, and I will tell you this, I've had the privilege to be connected to a lot of blessed and influential people. I have seen power, I have seen dimensions of wealth and relevance in the lives of people, but I'm surprised at the vacuum that refuses to be filled by these things. Education, money prestige and all of these things when god lifts you he lifts you in such a way that his space remains intact are we together now your exploits in life daniel eleven thirty two. 32 the bible says the be part but the people that do know their god he says they shall be strong and shall do exploits shall do exploits your excelling in life depends on your relationship with god second samuel 22 and verse 30 second samuel 22 and verse 30 second samuel he says for by thee i have run to a troop he says by my god i have leaped over a wall impossible feats based on your connection with God it is true that our connection with God transcends the relevance that this time brings but it also makes sense in this life oh taste and see that the Lord is good that one with God is truly a majority when God holds your hands, like the worship team will always sing, everything, everything is possible. It is true. When God decides to hold a man's hand, he will walk wonders through your life that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Your life becomes an epistle of wonder after wonder. Why do we need connection with God? Because our exploits in this life depends on it. The wisdom that comes from God. The creativity that comes from God. The anointing that comes from God. I met a family that cried to me and said, Apostle, our lives are in complete shambles. We've heard what God is doing through you. Please, can you pray for us? And I looked at them with joy in my heart because I knew their lives will change. Yes. 
There is what God can give you that will help you to change men, change cities, change territories. Connection with God is an advantage. And when I talk about God, I talk about the God of the Bible because God means many things to many people. So that there's no confusion, we're talking about the God, the creator of the ends of the earth. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, impossible becomes possible. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. job situation intimidate you don't let the pride of men intimidate you just make sure that at all times your hands are on his hands he says i have engraved you in the palm of my hands and step by step you will watch god lift you level by level listen my life is a testimony of what happens when god holds a man's hand when you hold god's hand is a good thing but when he holds your hand when you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you The Bible says, and the hand of God was upon, it came upon Elijah. When you do normal and natural things, it's not worthy of commendation. Because that's what men do. But when your life produces a result that only God can produce, it is proof that you are assisted by a divine hand. You need to strengthen your connection with God. of God in your life as far as earth is concerned as far as earth is concerned the third point I give you is that only God can give you true peace and fulfillment please write it down the third reason why you need God in your life is that only your connection with God guarantees peace and fulfillment everybody please say peace and fulfillment most people please look up you see respectfully speaking most of us here are uh, there are very few people here who are already established from all of the indications of establishment and so most of us are on a journey or beginning the journey to establishment and so on and so forth so you may not value things like peace and fulfillment because you are still trying to make ends meet there is a level when you get to you will find out that nothing in life sustains the ability to give you peace the highest index for measuring wealth is peace write it now in advance and thank me decades to come the highest index for measuring wealth, for measuring um, relevance is peace. The highest measure of wealth and freedom, that's what I wrote here. The highest measure of wealth and freedom is peace. Three scriptures quickly, Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Chapter 5. Therefore, 
being justified by faith koinonia read on with me we have peace with god hold on don't rush peace with god is different from the peace of god peace with god means i have made my way right with god peace with god it's not the same as the peace of god that you have made peace with god that means when i look at god i stand with joy knowing that there is no barrier that interrupts fellowship peace with god peace with god it says we are justified by faith and now we have peace with god most people do not have peace with god we may have money we may have titles and these things are not wrong we may have all of the things that people chase after but when you lack peace with god there is a serious problem because at the end of your life what will give you fulfillment is knowing that my ways are right with god look how the generals that transited in recent times transited reinhard bonke knowing that his time was almost there it was with joy and gladness he came to nigeria preached his he knew it was his last message he said it he had raised daniel colenda he had put everything in place and he said earth i see you when we join the cloud of witnesses to come and pick the rest he waved earth by peace with god these men knew where they were going they were not hoping no billy graham one of the few people who finished his assignment and remain and were just watching earth you will know a man has finished his assignment set up the billy graham institute and when it was time with honor and with joy he waved his hand same thing tl osborne there are people who wake up and say where am i they say you are not on earth again no. it's over it's over what happened the last thing i know is that i left one city i was hurrying up to go <laughs> it's over period where is my pa it doesn't exist here where is my certificate? It doesn't exist here. Peace with God. John 14, 27. It's a good Valentine message, isn't it? John 14, 27. <laughs> read on with me, Koinonia. Ready? One, two, read. Peace, I live with you. Listen, listen, listen. Jesus is speaking here. Peace, I live with you. Among the many things he listen there are two things the bible tells us we should expect one peace to the holy ghost peace i live with you you need it so much forget joy it will come but peace i live with you my peace i give unto you not as the world gives it says give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid that means these two things will remain in your destiny until the peace of god comes to drive them out trouble fear will remain in your heart until the peace of god comes to build a garrison the peace of god shalom nothing missing nothing broken a state of restfulness look at me the peace of God is not based on results. The peace of God is a supernatural impartation of that dimension. You can be in the midst of fire, yet you are like the still waters. If you are waiting for everything to be in place for you to have peace, that's how the world gives. But there is the peace of God that in spite of every storm in your life and your family, it is true that you've not paid your rent. It is true that things are, you know, haywire, your academics, your life is true. You've not had a child yet and people see you and you are completely restful. Because there are few things that are worth dying for. There's a peace that I have in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me 
and these peace in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Comes, it comes alive. There are some of you who are doctors here. Look at me. Young people now are depressed over nothing. It's because they have not had this message. You see people wrinkled, you guess and say you are 40. Say, no, I just clocked 28. What has added your age like that? The trouble that continues to disturb people. I need to make it. I, I'm not teaching you to be irresponsible. But hear me, you will die for nothing. And the world will bury you and keep moving. You need to learn to come to a point where you say, Hey, shut the door at every trouble and everything. And find rest. He leads me beside the stream. Life has a noisy way of depressing you. Left, right, till now you've not gotten a job. Till now you've not married. The child has not come. This has not happened. Today, Valentine, nobody called you again. You see, all those kinds of... Listen, listen to me. When those things happen, it's amazing. Your BP begins to rise. You know why? You are thinking nonsense. That is not the mind of Christ. And yet you can be completely at peace. Where will my school fees come from? Where will my rent come from? Listen, worry does not solve today's problems. Worry kills today's peace. It kills today's opportunities. It destroys tomorrow's door. So that you cannot even make progress in your life. Jesus took a whole chapter to talk about worry. Listen, this is a very powerful message. Learn peace now. Don't wait till they pay you salary. If your peace depends on your external environment, Satan has mastered you. It means you are about to die fast. Only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Not every time I receive an alert. Not every time I receive an award. Not every time I feel I am making progress. The voice of God is my peace. Ah. A state of restfulness. Not irresponsibility. Restfulness. Lord, you are in control. Why will you be awake and I will be awake too? One of us should sleep. You have chosen that you do not sleep nor slumber. So let me find sleep. Many people don't sleep because of all kinds of depression. What is happening to my father? What is happening to my mother? And Satan just adjusts. Hey, do you know they just said that um, the land that your house was built upon, there's supposed to be a road there. And they're going, ha, ah, what will I do? And you see people, no. Say my soul, find rest. One more time, prophesy. Say my soul, find rest. of winds and when all that nonsense is gone then here he comes the still small voice are we together do you know that every time we are troubled we should change the power of god from coming to our lives it is only when you are at rest even doctors will tell you when they want to carry out surgical operations on patients and they find out that their BP is vacillating, they will have to say, look, find a way of stabilizing these people emotionally. Is that true? They gather their family members to crack jokes. They find something that makes them happy. It's been proven that when family members are gathered around sick patients or things they like, it can aid their recovery. I was watching, I think it was the day before yesterday or so, on the news when they were showing people in China dancing to ease the whole the coronavirus and people were just dancing and it's, if it makes them happy why not listen beware of prolonged depression gloominess when when the peace of God does not find expression in your life death is being ministered to you you are dying already it's not when you are sick and cannot move 
Are we blessed? Peace. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16. Now, the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? By all means. You know what by all means means? Whatever it, it will take God to shake, to ensure that you remain the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the Lord be with you all the Lord will give you peace by all means that is it is based on his desire to give you peace that he prospers you if he notices that the, the peace is being interrupted because of poverty he will switch and attack poverty and take it personal not because he's really interested in money the goal is that you find peace please understand this when god lifts you when god blesses you when god wipes your tears this is what he wants to give you and he said by all means this is why he keeps pumping mysteries upon mysteries he's giving you all the keys it is his by all means agenda to make sure that whatever it will take you do not remain small the lord of peace himself will give you peace always by all means are we blessed so your relationship with god this is the first most important priority in your life please look up believers hear me it matters that you make up your mind now that nothing will ever make me leave god in this life you would think what I'm saying is very simple and very easy. No. Make up your mind. What shall separate us, the Bible says, from the love of God? Then it begins to list many things. For many people, they've not even seen one tenth of those things. And yet they're they are here because of God. I will wave you and will reconsider it when you, are in, when you are serious with me. People have left God because of marriage. People have left God because of money people have left god because of education people have left god because of all of those things that you get to a point where you say lord the issue of leaving you is like an initiation i'm there and there for good make up your mind that i'm stuck with you and i'm stuck with you genuinely i'm not using you i am here to stay and i'm here to stay eternally now listen your relationship with god is worth fighting for your relationship with God is worth dying for. Your relationship with God is the highest, the noblest pursuit on earth. Fail in every other area of your life and ensure that you are rich towards God. You still want. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. There were two men hanging on the tree. They were thieves. And one of them was arguing and talking a lot of nonsense towards Jesus. And the other one, you know, began to call on his mercy. And he said, this day, you will be with me in paradise. Straight up. Because he made a decision to be connected to God. Many people would rather be connected to politicians than God. Rather be connected to this. Now, men are important. But God first. In the beginning, it must remain so in the beginning not later in the equation god mm -mm. in the beginning god god is not an option when all else fail you say god talk since there's nowhere to go let me just no, 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 no. in the beginning and from the beginning let it be god from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus Oh Jesus, I just wanted to sing that point from beginning to the end, Alpha Omega. God, forever. I'm with you for the long run. I'm not with you for 10 years. I'm not. Have you seen people that you meet and you say, I, I used to know you? And they'll tell you, Well, those days, FCS or SU or something. Say, Now, nah, the reality of life has made us to go. Where did you go to? 
Jesus looked at the disciples and said, Will you also go? He said, To whom shall we go? No matter what happens in your life, please always make sure that you are on God's side. Guarantee that you are safe. Are we blessed? The first priority in a man's life is your relationship with God. Number two, the second most important priority in your life worth dying for, worth living for, worth sacrificing for is your family. Family is a very important thing in the sight of God. Family is a very important thing in society. Hallelujah. Family life is very important. The most important unit of society is family. Society is full of all kinds of institutions, religious institutions, judicial institutions, commerce centers for commerce, but the most important unit and institution in any society is family. Someone say family. What is the purpose of family? Why is family important? I will give you two reasons. Number one, your family in most cases will be your greatest support and motivation system. Put it this way, your greatest support and motivation will almost always come from family. Family will generally provide you the greatest support system and the greatest motivation. Why is family important? Because your family, both nuclear and then extended, your family will usually, not in all cases, but in most cases, will be the last place that you can fall back on when all fails. No matter what you become or don't become, you are almost sure that no matter what it is, family will be your greatest support and will be your greatest motivation. Listen, from scripture, there is no guarantee that you have indefinite support and motivation anywhere. The strongest support system and the strongest motivation system in your life will almost always, there are very few exceptions, but almost always, be family it was because of family relationship that Joseph looked at his brothers and did not lock them up and looked at them and said you guys what you did 12 years but we are family sit down and eat family is very very important Job when Job lost almost everything in his life the last person who was standing with him was not his brother, was not Elihu, was not the other two gentlemen. The Bible says in Job 42 verse 10 that when Job prayed for his friends, so he had friends that were alive. Where were they? He had friends that were alive. But they were not there. But his wife stood. Even though she was talking a lot of nonsense, at least she stood. The person that insults you and stands, <laughs> It's like flogging a child and say, I will kill you. And you are still shifting him from the junction. Are we together? Family is very important. Look at me. If you do not understand the power of family, then you will be building catastrophe in your destiny. There is no guarantee that your church, koinonia, job, business anything will indefinitely guarantee you when everybody listen to me said crucify jesus when everything happened at least when he resurrected angels came the holy ghost came on the third day to bring him back to life and where did he go back to talk to me he went and a throne was prepared at the right hand of the father and he sat down listen please hear me your family is very important first
first your physical family and then your spiritual family your spiritual family is also family they are the only ones who have the ability to take your nonsense and still love you the whole world does not think you are that much of a big deal are you getting what i'm saying now family is very important family is very powerful your greatest support your greatest motivation will come from family now this is true listen look up please and if you understand this then all of the other things like marriage relationship destiny connections now become something you pay attention to why because you now know that your greatest support is family you can lose a job but you your family remains your family even when they say they disown you it's just a psychological statement are we together yes family is important and that means that for you to excel in family life it requires serious preparation whether it is relationship whether it is marriage anything that has to do with family life my brothers and my sisters listen to me very carefully family life is a serious issue that requires very serious preparation the bible says there is no man intending to build a house he says who will not sit down and count the cost write this down The most important key to sustainable relationships and marriage is knowledge. The most important key, there are many other keys, but the most important key to sustainable relationships and marriage is knowledge. Please say knowledge. The most important key to relationships and marriage and family especially within the context of marriage is not love no love is important but more than love knowledge broadly speaking wisdom knowledge and understanding proverbs 24 please give it to us from verse 3 and 4 you will need wisdom you will need knowledge you will need understanding through wisdom proverbs 24 and verse 3 says a house is built it says by understanding it is established verse 4 and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with precious and pleasant riches everybody say i need knowledge I am convinced look at me please I am convinced that one of the reasons why family life in many many circles around the world continues to um, nose dive is because we do not pay attention to the knowledge dimension we only pay attention to the emotional side of marriage now watch this do you know the reason why although there are accidents they are minimized relative to the number of cars because they don't allow you to drive until you go to a driving school is that correct you go to a driving school you learn how to drive you are certified by a driving school it would take a while they would test you when you go to make your driver's license are we together they check you they profile you they make sure that you are doing well ideally speaking now and then eventually they give you the access to drive but anybody can just pick a lady from anywhere and just go anywhere if a church rejects you you go to a garden if a garden rejects you you stay at home and quietly you are married and because of that there is a lot of clash of opinions and ideas this is very important is bishop Oedipo who will say there is no new generation truth truth is truth believe me 
if all you take to the table of marriage and relationship is love, you will be disappointed. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.